Guys, in today's video, we are going to put eBay mystery boxes to the test yet again. But this time, we are going to buy a more expensive eBay box, and we are going to see if it's a scam or if it's worth your money. What's good everybody, Darkle here, back at it again with another video. Now in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we got a mystery box opening. Now you're probably wondering, where is the box, Darkle? Well, the boxes are way too big to fit on the setup, so I'm basically going to show y'all two boxes that we're opening up in today's video. One of those boxes is straight from eBay and that is actually the box that I'm most likely scared for now the second box is actually a box from Arknight which is basically labeled as the lucky box now I have opened up a lucky box in the past and I absolutely love them however the version that we're gonna be opening up today is basically the regal class aka the $50 mystery box and then of course the ebay mystery box was 50 dollars as well so guys we're gonna go ahead and start things off with the ebay mystery box and we're gonna see what exactly i got myself into all right guys so within the ebay mystery box we got a box within a box you feel me we got two boxes from the ebay mystery box well technically we only got one box the other box was basically just for shipping purposes. So guys, check this out. This box right here came straight from eBay. You feel me? And it says Mr. Goonies Pokemon Mystery Box. I have no idea who Mr. Goonies is. But let's check it out, man. We got Pokemon Mystery Box. Could contain graded cards, vintage packs, guaranteed to contain one rare hollow rare reverse vintage v etc etc so we're gonna see if this is worth the 50 dollars and then obviously we're gonna compare it to the lucky box which is most likely gonna be guaranteed worth your money the ebay mystery boxes are more of a risk basically if you want to take a chance then buy an ebay mystery box but if you want your money's worth 100 percent guaranteed then cop yourself a lucky box so without further ado guys if you are excited for today's video make sure you guys smash that like button right now let's try and get this video to at least 500 likes and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe enjoy the ghoul army and welcome and if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army then y'all already know the drill you could be featured in a video like the individuals that you see on the screen but ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy open and let's hope for the best that's all i can do hope for the best all right guys i'm just hoping that we at least got our money's worth from this box like i said we spent 50 dollars and we gotta hope that we get some decent stuff so i'm not gonna try to reveal most of the box but let's see what we got we got a pokeball is there anything in it, y'all? No, it's empty. Okay, we got ourselves an empty Pokeball. Actually, oh, okay, okay. We got the coin that the Pokeball originally came from. Not the best coin you can get, but a coin is a coin, I guess. But let's go ahead and close that back up. And let's put it towards the side. And let's see what else do we got in this box. So the next item is a code card for evolutions but y'all can keep the code card because i never do and let's go ahead and grab another item y'all it looks like we got ourselves some booster packs right here so we got five booster packs guys we have ultra prism to start things off now keep in mind this box did say that you have a chance at getting vintage packs and graded cards so basically the attention grabber of this ebay mystery box is the vintage packs and graded cards because if you look at the screenshots they have like charizards and a bunch of crazy cards that you could potentially get 
And that's basically the attention grabber, you feel me? So let's see what kind of packs are we working with, y'all. We got Ultra Prism, not a bad set. We got Burning Shadows, Evolutions. Okay, so these three are actually not bad. And then we have, you know, generic packs that have to fill the Dark Void, you feel me? And that is Sword and Shield base. It's not a bad set, don't get me wrong. Sword and Shield is not bad, but we're gonna go ahead and do the pack order like so. And before we get into the packs themselves, let's see what are the remaining cards so it looks like we got ourselves a figure is this a figure bro yeah this is definitely a bootleg figure what okay is that? i was not expecting some bootleg pokemon items this is like something you get out of wish.com my guy so we got ourselves a little figure of a deerling right i'm pretty sure that's deerling wait hold up that's everything okay okay that is everything for my vintage box Ooh, that was loud i'm sorry okay so now the official and final thing is inside this little bag so let's see what it is guys let's see what we're working with this one right here looks like it's ready to go to psa bro so we're gonna save this for last and let's see what we got so we got ourselves a galarian cursula v ultra rare which is not an expensive ultra rare. i think this card is worth like around two dollars but you guys will see the values of like the ultra rares basically the goodies you feel me not like the generic hollows reverses but like the ultra rares the vintage cards etc you guys are gonna see prices for those so we got the galarian cursula we got ourselves a holographic lightning energy and then we have a reverse snubble and a sobble I like how this snubble is sleeved up, but not the holographic or the ultra rare, bro. That's kind of funny. Not even the lightning energy is sleeved up. But this snubble right here gets royalty treatment, my guy. And I don't blame them, because snubble, as evil it looks, it's adorable in a way. So these are the extra cards that we got. Now let's go ahead and reveal this final card right here guys let's see are y'all ready three two and it's a chop wait <laughs> wait bro <laughs> what i'm confused now this is a vivid voltage charmander bro. it's not even a charizard bro i'm confused why is this PSA ready, like, to ship out to PSA, bro? I was expecting, like, a Charizard. Because it literally has a pull tab that you usually put when you're sending cards to PSA. So, the person grading the card doesn't damage the card as they're pulling it out. A char this is not even worth much, because the Charizard itself, the non-holographic Charizard from Vivid is probably worth like around maybe three to five dollars unless this charmander right here is worth a hundred bucks which i highly doubt i'll put the actual value on the screen but i guess yo <laughs> yo these packs right here they better be fire bro because if not then i feel like i straight threw fifty dollars in the trash my guy so at least we got some decent packs we have ultra prism burning shadows and evolutions so let's go ahead and start things off with sword and shield base at least the packs are the only good thing out of this mystery box imagine if i bought a mystery box that offered no packs bro then we'd be down bad right now and i would be calling ebay for a return you feel me i would essentially be pulling a karen so we got a maractus followed by a more peco v okay we got another ultra rare to add to the pool pile but then again you guys also have to realize that pokemon booster packs they don't really contribute to the mystery box portion only the set name does the reason why i say that is because when you're opening up booster packs it's completely random you can get banger after banger or you can get dud after dud it's basically the bonus items that matter the most when it comes to mystery boxes, as well as what kind of sets they're including in the box. So this is Sword and Shield Base once again, and we got a Tapu Koko V! Okay, we are two for two, my guy! We are two for two, and they're both electric types too, man. So we got Tapu Koko 
and a more Petco. Let's get on to Ultra Prism. Don't let me down, Ultra Prism. Don't let me down because I really want to get a gold card from that set. Ultra Prism has gold cards. I'm pretty sure that's where they came from. Well, not came from because the first gold cards I know is the Reshiram and Zekrom. You feel me? Like the full-on gold cards. I'm not talking about like gold trim. I'm talking about the card is all gold and full arted texture. So we got a Dupider, we got a Drapion, and we have a Tapu Lele, regular rare. So we got a Burning Shadows, which does gives us a chance at getting a Charizard. But like I said, bro, Burning Shadows is like one of the most difficult sets to get a white code, bro. So obviously we didn't get nothing in that pack. And next up, we got Evolutions, guys. Evolutions. The hype for Evolutions kind of died down. Everybody can honestly admit that. But it's still a nice set regardless, bro. I love Evolutions. I remember when I actually used to hate on Evolutions. It was so annoying. But when it started to skyrocket, I was low-key getting sad not opening up any Evolutions. Because booster boxes are going for like $500 to like 750 bro it is absolutely insane but we got ourselves a magmar reverse followed by a dugong regular rare unfortunately so that is the final card and the final pack for our 50 dollar mystery box bro so obviously these are pack pools but we get five packs, which is basically normal when you buy a $50 booster box. Now, the bonus items was this Pokeball, bro. Like, it's not even the good kind. This is like the tin. I like the plastic one much better because it's more sturdier. I don't really like these metallic tins for the Pokeballs, you feel me? And then we got a bootleg figure, bro. Like... It's not even name brand, bro. This is literally a bootleg dearling from Wish.com, my guy. You can buy like a hundred pieces for like seven dollars, bro, which is absolutely insane. And then we got, you know, some reverses, holographics, nothing impressive. And then we have this Charizard that is PSA ready to go and it's worth a hundred thousand dollars. I'm just kidding. It's probably worth like a dollar or two. But let's go ahead and put that towards the side and let's get down to the lucky box. Alrighty guys, so this right here is the lucky box and I'm going to be taking out items from this box one by one because this is literally jam packed. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that we got from this box is actually another box which is wrapped in Christmas paper. That tells you how long I've been sitting on this box, but I can guarantee you it's going to be a treat because every time I open up a lucky box, they are absolutely amazing. But that's not the only thing that you get from this box. I actually got a little snack tree and it looks like there is a vintage pine cone in that little baggie. And then we have some more snacks with a team up sealed blister bro i believe these sealed blisters they go for like 20 dollars so that is actually a very nice treat so let's go ahead and put those towards the side and then obviously we have our promo code which you guys can use if you want to cop yourself a lucky box and if you're curious on what version i'm opening up in today's video it is basically called the regal box i hope i'm saying it right but it's the version that cost around 48 dollars basically 50 dollars which is why i'm comparing it to a 50 dollar ebay mystery box and as always if you guys want additional links and information check out the description so let's get it man i'm gonna go ahead and open up this package first because i oh my gosh i'm sorry that is loud bro that is loud i hate the sound of plastic i'm not gonna lie but anyways is this actually sealed yo this is actually sealed bro with a mimikyu promo card i don't know if i should open this man 
I'm going to open it. I don't know why I even asked if I'm going to open it anyway. So let's go ahead and put that right there. We got ourselves some corn snacks. I'm pretty sure these are the corn snacks that I got last time. We got ourselves a Rotom candy or it kind of feels like chocolate low key. So now let's go ahead and move on to the other bag. I'm not going to be eating these snacks guys because if I did then I'm probably going to forget about the video and I'm just going to waste my time eating. But I did went ahead and opened up the bag and obviously we got ourselves some more Japanese snacks. Ooh, this is bomb, bro. We had this in the other box. It's like a wafer with chocolate, bro. This is this is absolutely delicious right here. I'm definitely going to eat this right after I'm done filming the video. And then it looks like we got ourselves a pineco, a vintage pineco as like a little bonus card in very nice shape. So right off the bat, all of these snacks, the vintage blister is already better than that mystery box from eBay, bro. 100%. But guys, we're going to go ahead and put this blister towards the side. We're going to open it up. Don't worry. I'm just putting it on the side because we still have to open up the box itself. So let's go ahead and unwrap this like it's Christmas. And what do you know, guys? We have more Japanese snacks, bro. I'm going to be loaded with snacks by the end of this video. So we got ourselves some caramel corn, which sounds delicious. We got an ice cream cone. I had this one before, but a different flavor. I think it was a strawberry one, and it was bomb. It was 100% bomb. And then it looks like we have a little baggie of like high chews, my favorite candies ever. Bro, I swear, Japan has like the best snacks ever. They have like a wide variety in flavors and a ton of unique items. But I went ahead and took out the remaining items and we got the Hello Kitty wafer cookies. Yo, these are my favorite. These are my favorite. Absolutely the best snack in this box. If you don't agree, something is wrong with you, bro. I know you're probably thinking, Dargo, that's Hello Kitty, bro. You sus. Come on. It's not about Hello Kitty. It's about the strawberry flavor, bro, and the wafer. These are 100% bomb. Guaranteed. If you try these, you will fall in love. Literally. But it looks like we got our booster packs right here, guys. Let's see what kind of pack selection do we have. So we got ourselves four booster packs and we have Vivid Voltage. Okay. We got Vivid Voltage, everybody. That's a nice set. We got Crap Siege. Y'all know how I feel about Crap Siege. We got Sword and Shield Base an unbroken bond so i'm not gonna lie both of the boxes they don't have a bad variety when it comes to the packs themselves they have some nice sets they have some decent sets they have some bad sets but that's usually how it goes in mystery boxes so for the booster packs themselves i'm not complaining but on top of that we also have this team up pack to open up so let's go ahead and put those packs right there and then we actually have the Golden Ark Knight Lucky Packs, everybody. And in this box right here, the Regal Box, you get two of them. But let's get down to business and let's open up some more booster packs. Starting things off with Crap Siege since it is the worst set of them all. Like Crap Siege, I don't even care if Crap Siege skyrockets in price, bro. I am never gonna spend my own money on this set unless it was like the pre-release which i did etc but after the pre-release and stuff like that i'm never buying steam siege ever again i literally only open steam siege because products force that set into the products themselves so let's go ahead and get into some sword and shield base everybody Sword and Shield base. Let's see what we can get inside our first pack. We got a Vulpix, Nicket, Voltoy, Cramorant, and we have an Orbital regular rare. But now we're getting into the good sets. Vivid Voltage and Unbroken Bonds. Let's see what Vivid Voltage had. Wait, you see the discoloration on these packs? Yo, do we have our hands on an error pack, everybody? Only one way to find out. But unfortunately, those three cards are the uncommon. So it's not like the rare slot or the reverse slot was affected. 
But let's see what's inside this pack anyways, guys. We got ourselves an x Cloud Reverse, followed by a Steelix V Ultra Rare, everybody. So let's go ahead and put that in a sleeve. Put that with the pine cone, just so it looks more beautiful. And now we have some unbroken bonds, everybody. Ooh, we got that white code. Do we have a Charizard, baby? Is there a Charizard? What beats grass, bro? What beats grass in one shot? Charizard, fire types. And Charizard is a fire type. So let's see, man. We got a Marowak. And we have a Celestela GX, man. Low key. Low key. I thought we were going to get a Charizard. And I kind of forgot that we were opening up a Sun and Moon pack, bro. Because this is a GX card, not a V card. It kind of feels weird getting GXs because I'm just so used to seeing V cards nowadays. But y'all, we are going to full send it. And we are opening up this sealed blister. Of team up and I'm pretty sure some people are gonna be like no you should have got this seal but we're gonna open it for the channel so here is the promo card here is the code card and then obviously here is the coin and then we have a beautiful pack of team up and guys I'm not sure what made this set spike in value. Is Team Up the set that has a bunch of full art trainers? Because if this is the set, then that's why this set is absolutely expensive. Because there is a ton of secret rare trainers in this set. And they all skyrocketed in price, which led to the spike in the overall set. So we got ourselves a Zerora and we have a Pangoro regular rare but we're not done yet guys we still have two lucky golden packs to open up in this box so let's go ahead and open up the first one if i remember how to one eternity later all right guys i got it opened the reason why i did a cut is because these are low-key kind of hard to open and i didn't want to ruin the cards themselves so I actually had to be a little bit more careful. But let's see, guys. We got ourselves a pack right here. And then we have, okay, we got a Mega Charizard. Hold on, hold on. Let's save that for last, even though I literally revealed it. And let's see what's inside this package right here. So we got a Stuffle Reverse. We got ourselves some more commons, uncommon action, like your typical pack. We got a Victory Bell Hollow. And then you do the three card pack trick. So we got our holographic right here. And then we got our bolt cards. And then we obviously have a stuffle reverse. But this right here is our ultra rare. Plus you actually get a custom drawn Pokemon card from Arknight in these lucky packs. And just look at that. We got the Mega Charizard X as our custom card. That is beautiful, man. I love it, you feel me? But let's see what our Ultra Rare is. It is none other than a Mega Alakazam EX. Check that out, bro. I love Megas. I wish Pokemon brought back Megas, made new Megas, or just brought them back, bro. I don't care if they don't make new ones. At least bring them back, and I will be absolutely happy about that. But let's go ahead and put both of these cards towards the pool pile over there, and now we have one final lucky pack that we're going to open up in today's video. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so like the other pack, I had to take some time to open it up because it is just way too sticky. I don't know what it is, bro, but it's just really difficult to actually open up. But let's go ahead and face these down. I didn't see what they are, guys, so it's going to be a 100% surprise. Let's go ahead and do three to the front and make this the full-on Pokemon pack experience. So let's get it, man. We got the Nose Pass, Honage, Bunnelby, Cutie Fly. It looks like the reverse is in the middle of the pack is what it seems like. We got the Weedle, Blitzel, and we have a Verizon Wireless Holographic, which I absolutely love. And now for these two face-down cards, our custom card is going to be a Kingler. Check that out, bro. It actually has like a, 
a gem on its claws right there is that what they're called gems diamonds they're all the same thing essentially but i absolutely love it bro we got the homie kingler on deck such an underrated pokemon but our ultra rare for this lucky pack is oh we got the viaplume first edition bro viaplume first edition that is a nice one right there it definitely beats a cheap ultra rare bro so if you're probably wondering man why didn't you get another ultra rare this is actually more expensive than that alakazam than the steelix and probably all of our ultra rares combined that we pulled in today's video first edition jungle via plume and it looks like it's in great shape as well that right there is absolutely nice the fact that it has a first edition stamp is amazing but guys this right here was the lucky box that we opened up and this wasn't everything that we got this is basically just the pools the cards that we got from the box itself but look at everything else that we got this entire screen that you see right here is everything that we got from the lucky box like i said the reason why i like opening up these lucky boxes you get personalized snacks which i absolutely love because you can open packs enjoy a snack and it's just a straight vibe from the box you feel me and then from the ebay box all i literally got was this well essentially you minus these two pools because they're from the packs and then i'm basically left with this right here as a charmander as my rare card unfortunately and on top of all this you actually get sealed packs that you get to open up you feel me not just the custom packs as opposed to the ebay mystery box i got what a metallic pokeball tin with nothing inside it and then i got all of this with this charmander being the most rarest item even though they have like psa cards vintage cards all over the ad on ebay so without further ado guys that is it for today's video comparing two 50 dollar mystery boxes you tell me which one do you think was worth it as always if you want to cop yourself a lucky box all the information you need is in the description down below and without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.